The pandemic has devastated sex workers' income and because sex work isn't recognised as work, people have been deprived of the support, funding and protections available to others. We have worked hard to counter what can only be described as SMS harassment from the police, aside from the regular harassment, which seems to have been worse now, especially against foreign nationals. In Ireland, sex workers throughout COVID received no support from the government. So at Sway, we crowdfunded a hardship fund, raising 26,000 euro to give little bits of cash to sex workers to be able to survive throughout this time. We've also been able to disseminate 188 vouchers for food and amenities to people. Our biggest achievements during Corona to support sex workers were that we col collected 5,000 euros, emergency fund for sex workers, and so we were able to help so in between 30 and 35 um, people from the community with um, amounts between 100 to 300 euro, depending on their needs. During the last 12 months, we received grants from the regional government, the federal government, some philanthropic organization in Belgium, and also some municipalities to support sex workers during this period for a total of 330,000 euro. We also organized the crowdfunding during the last years and we raised for the month 40,000 euros. In France, the Stras Syndicat du Travail Sexuel fundraised over 66,000 euros during the first lockdown in order to redistribute it to sex workers and to community organizations that were seeing them. We managed to unlock 200,000 euros and hope to get more as the needs for sex worker for food and housing are much higher, close to 5 million euro from our estimations. During the COVID pandemic, we um, had several initiatives, given that in Spain, we had one of the most severe lockdowns in Europe, uh, alongside Italy. And that provoked us that many brothels had to shut down so many, many sex workers were, uh, uh, were, living, uh, were living without um, a house. So we started to organize uh, crowdfunding alongside another sex workers collectives like the Femtras or the uh, Colectivo de Prostitutas de Sevilla and CATS, uh, among others. So we decided to organize a crowdfunding. It were, there were two campaigns that both together combined raised around 35,000 uh, euros that were distributed uh, around the, the whole, the whole um, kingdom of Spain uh, for around 350 sex workers. Our collective provided 190 direct transfers to sex workers working both outdoors and indoors. And the support was possible uh, because of the emergency fund and community, community craft funding, which we have started during the first wave of COVID-19 pandemic and it is still running. So far we have managed to collect 9,500 euros and um, our support was instant and unconditional. No uh, application forms, no certificates were needed to uh, get the support. Para poder este comenzar un este grupo podemos hacer una asistencia al grupo de latinas que están trabajando en esta área, que son un máximo de 15 chicas y un promedio de 6 fijas que están eh, viviendo aquí en, en la ciudad. Eh, estuvimos asistiendo a partir de julio cuando comenzó nuestro proyecto con asistencia y el soporte de Open Society Foundation. National Ugly Mugs received funding from the National Lottery Community Fund and other sources to carry out our COVID-19 emergency response for UK sex workers. 
In Amsterdam, we have run during the COVID, uh, well, the COVID pandemic, several um, uh, projects for sex workers, amongst uh, fundraising and money providing to our community of all sex workers, um, by which we gave a ma mini credits uh, of. Uh, of an amount where people could buy food uh, weekly for, from and buy uh, or medication. Uh, we had a project where we did uh, food, um, sort of like food um, stamps or food um, vouchers and by which people also could get uh, in, in supermarkets uh, food. In the Netherlands, our organization TransUnited Europe has teamed up with other sex work led organizations to provide direct support such as food vouchers and cash to, uh, to undocumented trans and six sex workers. We've uh, also raised an emergency cash fund with the help of uh, allies, uh, very often other sex workers, that were mainly handed out to street-based sex workers and some indoor workers uh, who also applied. Abbiamo raccolto poco più di 24.000 euro che sono stati impegnati per pagare l'affitto e distribuire kit alimentare e kit per la prevenzione Covid. La campagna ci ha permesso di contattare circa 950 sex workers su tutto il territorio nazionale. This last year we raised a few thousand euros for sex workers during the corona crisis. We also created a peer support chat line and now we are here protesting so that sex workers can start working again like all other contract professionals. It's a big coordinate, a trained advocacy in Belgium to include sex workers and particularly undocumented migrant sex workers for the corona response in Belgium. Because of that, Itsopi had the opportunity to be the leader of the federal group about sex work and prostitution and to establish the protocol of reopening of sex work in Belgium. We've been encouraging and helping people to move their work online, but of course that isn't possible for everybody. We have, however, had some positive steps uh, regards to a meeting that we had with the Minister for Justice early in this year, where we spoke with her about the government's refusal explicitly to give us funding, emergency funding through this time. Once she understood more about the scope of our work, she did ask us for a future meeting. Also, we've had very good preliminary communications with the vaccine committee rollout. We did a lot of lobbying with the Green Party in Austria and the Green Party spoke in front of the parliament in May 2020 uh, in favor of supporting sex workers, which was quite an achievement. Then we did um, also lots of other lobbying campaigns and uh, we got really successful when we um, tried to include sex workers in the self-employed uh, corona emergency funding. So it was possible for sex workers to apply for help. And we actively engaged with the consultation with the Ministry of Health on the behalf of how to reopen sex work again in Corona times. Mm. And there it was also possible for us to tell them that they should please um, use the word sex work and not prostitution anymore. So this was also a success. And um, also that they, the documents are getting more translation, so therefore being more accessible to non-German speaking people. We provided information about the COVID crisis, especially about risk reduction and also the financial aids that were available to sex workers. We started to uh, collect food and um, and products of and hygiene products and as well also as cleaning products and uh, started delivering it to door to door to our to our colleagues. In the beginning, there were 20 in the city of Barcelona, and that started to grow in. And we are continue we are continuing doing that that effort until now, and it has grown 
until 55 sex workers, street-based sex workers. At the same time, we have an unowned space. We could we could uh, be able to get an uh, own space for, for the organization. So it's also a place where we can gather together the colleagues, they um, get the food supplies and, um, and hygiene products there in our, in our office once a month in each uh, in, in small groups because of the of the restrictions but we also offer services legal services basically mostly uh, such as migration which most more most important given that the, our um, our more more targeted pop population are uh, trans sex workers from latin america there were spontaneous actions um, f from the community of sex workers, which uh, were supporting emergency fund through their work. Uh, they were offering photos, uh, videos and services and helping to spread the news about uh, emergency fund via the social media. La ayuda constante este, continúa, eh, desde mascarillas, barbijos, inclusive ahora asistimos con clases de alemán. We've been fighting eviction, stalking and harassment, raids and arrests, deportation, family court and benefits cases, and winning. We've been working with our international network and the Global Women's Strike, demanding a care income for people and planet. We've introduced mental health support which is affirming and understanding of the needs of sex workers. Our research and development team have worked alongside therapists to produce resources on grief and loss, suicide prevention and a directory of sex worker friendly therapists. We are also hosting free group sessions. Amongst all of this we have also maintained our core reporting and alerting services. We have recently managed to start a cooperation with national health officials in creating national guidelines for uh, safe uh, working conditions for sex workers, which we hope long term will ensure more uh, legal protections for sex workers. We run our services for um, trans people and trans sex workers uh, predominantly and foremost. Um, and that those were like community gatherings still, uh, COVID. Uh, uh, regulations follow following and as well what we did was uh, having a, f um, a closed bank so people could still get in and uh, get uh, clo close mm, and we had regular healthcare um, um, hours so that people could drop in to, to get hormones and to get in contact with uh, doctors uh, by our own uh, sex worker led trans clinic. We have also provided support to sex workers stranded in the Netherlands and who could not have access to HIV medication by putting them in direct communication with healthcare providers and in several cases by helping with uh, translations. Furthermore, we have turned our physical space into a day shelter where undocumented trans women, many of them trans sex workers, have been able to come, relax, and have a, some food in a place where they can feel safe. Mm -hmm.